What is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how we do our dovetails, a complete walkthrough, full details, everything you need to know, how we produce them here at Diamond. Plus a little special message at the end. Stick around. So to make the dovetails, it's all produced through our program so that they are made exactly to the size to fit the cabinet. So the same way all of our cabinetry is made, the door lists are made, all of that information is all produced through the same program. So those files will come out here to our B200 saw, which is overkill for these parts, but the best thing is that we do get a label for them, which I'll show you at the next step why that's important. Put all the pieces on the saw and our operator will stack them all up just by fronts and backs and we're only labeling the fronts and backs just because the sides are all interchangeable because the fronts we do actually put through on our vertical CNC machine we do that because we actually pre-drill a hole in the fronts to mount our our drawer fronts to the dovetails so that the assembler does not have to mark out with a pencil at all or anything in order to mount the drawer fronts to the dovetail drawers themselves. It's all done on the machine so we actually do a pilot hole through the dovetail and then also have a marker hole on all of our fronts and then just launch a screw through that to mount them which I'll show you a little later so we cut all on the saw and then immediately toss them through the v200 to get that cnc drilled so it's absolutely in the perfect location and then right behind the cnc we actually have our dovetail equipment right here so we run an edge sander so we can sand and wax all of our cut edges on the exposed pieces of the dovetail that you're going to see and then we run a CNC dovetail machine here. You can see the operator is sanding and waxing the pieces as I said and stacking them all up by size and then machining them is pretty straightforward. Just put them in and out and then sort them back onto our carts. So again here's one of our typical lean-to carts that you've seen in our previous video all about carts. These are so multi-purpose. We just put all of our dovetail pieces on there ready to assemble and then we'll wheel them over to the assembly area. So the machining of the parts are all the way over here by the CNC, but that's just so we can keep all the dust down at one end of the shop and keep it away from more important stuff. As you saw in the other video, we have a dovetail clamp right here that we're producing all the drawers on, clamp them, glue them. I have here a lift table to raise and lower. Makes the work height very easy. So I keep my bottle of glue. I've also got a little bit more wax for the cut edges. So when the pieces are machined, we wax them. And then once they're produced, we'll wax them a second coat and that just gives them a way better finish. So. Here's the dovetail assembly area. We keep everything that we need in this area. So as you can see, I got my undermount clips, lefts and rights, all of my nails are extra there. I have two drills here. One is a driver with a bit in it for the screws. The other is a drill with a pre-drill bit. We have a nail gun here with a half inch staple and then another stapler here for stapling in the bottom. So as you can see here as assembling, I'll pre-glue the pieces and throw them into the clamp. And once I have it squished, I then use this stapler to staple that little back corner where the notch happens. Because one of the biggest pet peeves I've had with ordering dovetails from other suppliers is that the little corner piece on the drawers seems to always pop off and break when you go to notch them. 
So here you see we use the half inch staple just to keep this little piece here from breaking completely off once the notching happens. And that's something I wanted to do for ourselves when we started producing our own drawers. It was just a, such a pain if this would break off. So one stapler is set up to do this. We have our other stapler just to get the bottom stapled in. And again, by cutting all the pieces on the saw, there's a label, tells us the job, tells us which cabinet it's going into. So when they do go over, when they do go over to the uh, cabinetry to match up and get the fronts mounted, it's a lot easier to just grab them, toss them in the cabinet. There's no measuring and double checking or trying to figure out where they're gonna go. So here we got the pre-drill mount for the balloon clip. I keep my screws right there. Here's a look at the inside of the drawer. Like I was saying, we pre-drill holes for mounting our fronts on the CNC and that makes the mounting perfect. And here's our homemade notching machine that we built years ago. We didn't want to spend the money on a notching machine when we first got going. We weren't sure how many dovetails we were going to actually produce, so we put this together. It's just a, a table saw body with a motor that we've made our own dado set and top here, attached to a pulley, attached to an air cylinder on the switch here. So we place the drawer on here, power up the, the uh, dado set, and then just by pressing this air cylinder button, it'll actuate the notcher in and out. Doesn't do any drilling, so we're still doing that by hand after the notching, but this is a very uh, effective solution to notching our dovetails. So right here in the middle is where we produce all the dovetails, and then just quickly right there is where they're gonna meet up with the cabinets. So it's literally, 30 feet away on the other side of the shop here with ways we will just bring the drawers over match them up with the cabinets and get the fronts mounted so here at the at our hinging bench we'll lay the fronts down bring the drawers here just pop a couple screws in drawers just fly right into the cabinets makes it very easy so now i'm just gonna just gonna talk to you guys quickly about my other video where I said we were growing into this other space and there hasn't been much talk about that and we've been really planning ahead I know the last two Christmases I put out a video showing how we've moved things around showing the kind of changes that we're making and there hasn't been a video this year we actually didn't move anything around that's because we're planning for next Christmas. The big empty space we have here where we keep all the extra material, all the extra storage of equipment and all that, that's just been unused space relatively. We will be expanding into that this year. We're working on getting more robotic equipment, redoing the entire facility. We're just dotting the T's and crossing the I's right now trying to figure out which direction we're going to be heading, how to lay it out, what type of equipment we want. But with the labor crisis, it seems the only way to go is more and more robotic. And that's what we're going to be doing. I have a pretty good crew now and operating machines is kind of below them now. They're all very good. They're all learning. And I want to put them into a more value added job for their money. I'm expecting that they'll all make more money now with the upgrades to the equipment that we're going to be making because we will be able to produce 10 times the amount of product as we are now by fully robotizing the manufacturing cell. So that's the special announcement for today is that there's no video for what changed this year because nothing changed and everything will change next year. So please like and subscribe, follow us, it doesn't cost you anything. It's everything to me. We've just hit a thousand subscribers. That was one of our goals. I'm really happy with that. But this year is going to be a big year for us, both 
professionally and personally I will be putting out more and more content this year so please do what you can to help me out thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one